Hello and welcome to uh, Lobbying Buses. Um, this is a tutorial uh, how to get into the bus company on BTS. Um, if you don't know what BTS is, it is a, a bus company simulator where you drive for a company, you make money for the company, they buy new buses, you get the enjoyment of driving them, but also with the added fact that you're driving for a company within um, OMSI 2, just to give you that a bit of real life experience of driving, and also rate your driving as well to see if you're up to standards. There's many ways to buy a bus company. There's a Steam Workshop, there's uh, Aerosoft directly, and there's uh, lots of other websites that do it for cheaper, CD keys, Game Planet, and stuff like that. Once you get in, uh, obviously your screen's not going to be this colour. I've got premium, so that's why my screen's a little bit darker. Um, but I have uh, functions that when you first come in, you're not going to have unless you get premium. Um, so, how do you find Lovian buses? Uh, go to multiplayer. Apply for new company. Now, the... The company will be in recommended, so you need to be level one. Just scroll down, make sure that it is myself, Unaccountable Gamer, and Sleeping Gamer 2020, who are the owners, and the Discord FFPJ. Once you know that it is that that is the right company, then you can look at the depot, see what there is, what buses we have without needing to join the company. If that's not in there, that will be in private company and there will be an application process that you must complete. However, I'll click join. I'm already in the company. So once you've clicked join, you'll then go, that will then take you immediately to this page. We click enter. That puts us into the company where you can see other players walking around, sitting down, using the computers and stuff like that. So, this is Lovian Buses, so this is the garage, so you've got the rules here, so all the rules and welcoming people uh, to the company are, are uh, here, you've then got the dining room and eating area, somebody's left their pizza. Staff computers. Then we have the control center. So that you don't particularly need this. This is a different DLC, but you don't need the DLC to play uh, join the company. This is just uh, the for the control simulator side if we are doing a control room event. And then the actual control center is up here. So this is where the actual control room is. So this is where you'll find the garage manager and uh, the management team, they use the control center. Right, we'll go over here. Executive office, so this is where you'll find me and Husky. Uh, we're normally in here uh, doing bits and bobs. Down here. You've got the toilets. You don't really need to use the toilets, but yeah, they're the. I think you can actually use the toilets. Can you now? I think they. Yeah. So yeah, you can actually go to the toilet. So yeah, there. There is interactive stuff, which is quite funny. I think the dryers are now interactive now. Uh. So yeah, in here you go to the board, pick the map that you have installed, obviously there's no tours at the moment on none of these, but yeah, on here you have tours, um, and then on this one you click accept. Once you've hit accept, you'll see it. You'll see something up here above your um, 
chat box uh, telling you to go choose a bus and an inspector. So this is the double deckers, so no this is the single deckers. So you would go in here, you'd look at the buses, so say that for first of all I would like a coach. I'll go to the coach which is here. I would go drive, but it tells me my shift isn't done. So yeah, you would create your uh, your points and stuff where you want to start, and then you would load in if you want a double decker. Same thing again. Go hit this, and then make sure that you put your starting point and location so you can load into the map. That's as easy as that. It is not. It's not that hard. Um. To get used to but that is the key point to get started make sure that you have the map installed go to the board in the office uh, this one here uh, to accept a shift once you've accepted a shift then go to the so if I go to here I'll accept a shift it then so yeah it tells me there to go choose a bus to drive, after that choose a bus inspector. But if you are going to take a bus inspector then you will need premium. You cannot use a bus inspector without premium. So we'll go to here. I want to take this one and then I click drive and then it brings me to this page. I'm starting at this the night stand. So I'll go and find the nightstand, which is this one. So I'll start in the town. I would have to drive around. Hoff file. Um, Hoff file, again, just unveiling. Make sure I've got the right Hoff. Should be this one. I've got premium. I'm going to take Melissa. Um, do I want driving collisions on? No. Because the maps can have some really bad collisions. Disable random events. Me, because uh, I've got premium, I get random events pop up as you've probably seen. Uh, invisible speed cameras do nothing and will change on the map. Uh, you have tile problems. Uh, invisible flashing lights. No full screen red light. Yep. And then, I don't want to click that. The tickets inspector's not available. We'll go to that. And then that will just basically start. OMSI will start. Uh, up. Now. So, hope. Once OMSI has started, then you just go through the basic OMSI setup which we'll cover in the next video. So these are going to, this is going to be a two-part tutorial of how to set up, how to get going, and how to uh, make sure that you are, uh, you, you have uh, the ability to drive in OMSI. Because a lot of people don't know how to on the first time, and this is why we're here, to help everyone and to support people when they need help. So this tutorial is for you. If you need that help and you don't understand, then we have made it for you. Thank you so much for watching. Until the next time, a very good bye for now. And there will be more tutorials on uh, how to join our servers in due course. Thank you for now and goodbye.